What's good, YouTube? We back with another soul reaction video to the barbershop scene. This scene, I love this scene because you know I be going to the barbershop, getting my fresh cuts. I'm gonna get fresh cut Friday. Yeah, we just gonna react to it. It's a relatable scene. I loved it, so let's get it. <laughs> This. Talk about having a spark. This guy was born to be a barber. But I can't pass for you in front of all your friends. Dez is the only one that I talk to. We usually talk about jazz. But this time, just sit there, get the cut, and get out. Hey. Hey, Joe. What are you doing here on the weekday? You didn't call for an appointment, man. It's going to be a while. I was afraid of this. Go ahead and sit down. Oh, oh, oh Lord, you gotta wait, son. This is an emergency. What? That ain't cool, Dad. You can always let Harold cut your hair. His chair's wide open. Nah, I, I can <laughs> Joe, get your butt in this chair. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Should I even ask you how this happened? The cat did it. Stop sounding insane. I mean, um, I was um distracted getting ready to play with Dorothea Williams tonight. Dorothea Williams? That's big time, Joe. Congratulations. Man, this is funny. Joe ain't getting no gig, Dez. You know he missed the close but no cigar. Ah, this guy. Joe, ignore him. Now let's fix you up. You keeping that cat on your lap? Man. Is it okay that I do that? Suit yourself. You're the boss. I am? When you're in this chair, yeah, you are. So, can I have one of those? <laughs> The lollipop. Sure, Joe. Cool. Mm. I like being in the chair. Hey, get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> chainsaw. You need to settle down. If you keep this... <laughs> Look, I can deal with some freaky voice. stuff. But if this cat don't chill, we're going to have to put it outside. Well, what's it going to be, kitty? Look at his hair. It's like, shh, this whole Sometimes part right here is cut off. Good. You have been That's why they're like, oh! Style for a while. Well, Des, for hundreds of years, I've had no style at all. You can say that again. <laughs> but then my life changed. What? Oh, yeah? What happened? I was existing as a theoretical construct in a hypothetical way station between life and death. I heard that. And by the time I got to mentor number 266, I was seriously asking, like, what is all the fuss about? Like, is all this Ooh. living really worth dying for? Kind of for? good. You know what I mean? I never knew you had such an interest in education, Joe. I just thought you went to music school. And another thing, they say you're born to do something, but how do you figure out what that thing is? Like, what if you pick up the wrong thing or somebody else's thing? You know, then you're stuck. I've been there, but yeah. I'll take one of those. I wouldn't call myself stuck, but I never planned on cutting heads for a living. Wait, but you were born to be a barber, weren't Look you? Look how fresh and fine of this. So, when did you do that? I was planning to when I got out of the Navy. Then my daughter got sick, and <laughs> barber school is a lot cheaper than veterinarian school. Well, that's too bad. You're stuck True. as a barber, and now you're unhappy. Whoa, whoa, slow your road here, Joe. I'm happy as a clammer, man. Not everyone can be Charles Drew inventing blood transfusions. Or me, playing piano with Dorothea Williams, I know. <laughs> you are not all that. Anyone could play in a band if they wanted to. Don't pay Paul any mind. People like him just bring other people down so they can make <laughs> themselves feel better. Oh, I get it. He's just criticizing me to cover up the pain of his own failed dreams. Oh. Okay, good job. I wonder why sitting in this chair makes me want to tell you things, Des. That's the magic of the chair. That's why I love this job. I get to meet interesting folks like you, make them happy, and make them handsome. Wow. Am I crazy or do I look, look younger? Look at that fresh I hair. I have been in blood transfusions, but I am most definitely saving lives. I don't know about this crazy cat guy thing, man, but it is nice to finally talk to you about something other than jazz, yo. Huh. How come we have... Uh... Never talked about your life before. You never asked. Well, I'm glad you did this time. <laughs> the cat didn't never ask me, which is a real cat. I grabbed a couple road lollies. If y'all enjoyed that little scene right there, you know, the barbershop scene, that's what I'm gonna call it, and put it in the title. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It was a very good scene because uh, it's like, it's like relatable, you know? Like you're in the barbershop. You're getting a cut, like me, like as a boy. I go in the barber shop, I get my cuts, you know, talk to my barber, you know, tell him the things that he's going through, tell him what's up, you know, update him. Cause your barber, your barber is like your friend. It's true, that's how mine is. So, yeah. 
you know, I'm gonna get a cut. Sorry, look at me, I'm looking rough, but. Yeah, if y'all like that little reaction of me, reacting to this, go check out my other reactions. And this reaction, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and do all that. Love y'all, happy new years. I forgot to say happy new year. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this little video and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, so. Yeah, happy new year's Eve. If you're watching this, but happy new year's if you watch it another day. But yeah, this is y'all.